and eight people, most of them Asian women, were killed during a string of shootings at day spas in the Atlanta area. 12 News' Deetra Briscoe talked to Asian Americans here in Mississippi about the violence against their community. Deetra. Hundreds of Asian Americans turned to social media after the attacks, expressing their fear, anger, and sadness. Groups are rallying to demand justice for the victims. Before the deadly shootings in Atlanta, there have been reports of pandemic-fueled racist attacks against Asian Americans. Those who live in Mississippi say it's unfair. You know, every race has stereotypes to them. And, you know, of course, the coronavirus, COVID-19, stems from China, which, you know, we, I think everyone knows that it's the truth. But at the same time, you can't hate people for for this. You know, you can't hate all the innocent citizens because they too were affected. Some Asian Americans in the state say they haven't seen many hate crimes against them, but they say others need to speak up. Mississippi Lieutenant Governor Delbert Hoseman addressed the Atlanta area shootings earlier this week. Every time they harm any person here, of whatever description, they harm Americans. So I, like all of us, are appalled at someone's ability to be as callous as to murder eight people. Many were outraged that the suspect, 21-year-old Robert Long, was not immediately charged with hate crimes. One official in Georgia has been criticized for his remarks saying that Long was having, quote, a really bad day. Especially after listening to the press conference, um, how this officer tried to humanize the shooter. And I felt that was just... Um, unspeakable for. I, I feel that, you know, we all have bad days, but we can't go shoot up a, you know, a business, you know, and I, I, I felt that was really sad. Authorities say Long told them the attack was not racially motivated, and he claimed he targeted the spas because of a sex addiction. So far, he has not been charged with any hate crimes. When I spoke with Vivian, she says she believes the Asian community needs love right now. She says they're facing all types of things together and us as Americans are facing the virus together. And the idea of trying to separate hate or even blame each other doesn't help the situation. I'm Deidre Briscoe. Back to you, Blake.